it's me Yoni and welcome back to more Yakuza Like a Dragon! So we just talked to this woman here in the cigarette shop and now we need to go to Public Park 3. Something's happening here so we gotta go and check that out. <laughs> oh yeah, I've, I forgot we could play like this. First person. It's so cool that you can do that. There my friend is. Let's go. Oh, Haniki. Is our guy here? Sure is. Look over there. That's Hiratsuka. That dude, huh? Do you know him? Forget it. Let's go. Hey there, Hiratsuka-san. Enjoying a little break, are we? Having a smoke while you mooch your ass still owes a ton of money? Oh, you think we won't beat you to a pulp? That other family went easy on you, but we won't. The Arakawa family doesn't fuck around. If you don't want to get hurt, get out your wallet. Hey, you think I won't do it? I can't pay back what I can't pay back. That's all there is to it. I see you're still just coasting on your size, oh great Hiratsuka. How'd you know that nickname? Who the hell are you? Ah, uh, don't you remember, pal? We used to wrestle when we were kids. You thought it was so cool to power bomb other kids, as long as you were the only one big enough to do it. Oh, I remember. You're Soapy Ichi. And if this guy's your pal, that must mean. <laughs> you ended up in the Yakuza. Shocker. And I heard you joined the JSDF only to flunk out and come crawling back here. Life's a bitch, huh? Yeah, it is. So deal with it somewhere else. No can do, pal. We gotta deal with it right here, because we're Yakuza. See, Yakuza orders are mandatory, and my orders are to get your wallet. So hand it over. I told you, I don't have any money! Come on, great son. Let's make this easy. All I need is your wallet. I don't want to get rough with you. You understand, right? Huh. <laughs> you saying that even a grown-ass man is scared of my power bombs? No, I'm saying I don't want to see the strongest guy in middle school tap out. It'd be a shame if that was your peak. Huh. <laughs> Sounds like Soapy Ichi needs to taste the dirt again. You want it so bad? Try and take it! Here we go! Tag match, Aniki! Not this time! You be the referee! I want him all to myself! Huh? <sighs> Quit jabbering, and let's do this! Come I on. was hoping he would join us in this battle. Uh... <laughs> but we can do this! We can do this alone! <laughs> Okay, let's see. Let's use our skill to nature's fist. I forgot that I had to press square. <laughs> wow, it actually does so much damage on this big guy. Attack! What happened? I couldn't attack him. He snapped out of it. Okay, let's use our skill again. He should die from that, right? Ah! Yes. He was easy. I expected him to be really hard. <laughs> okay, so now we can take his wallet. You're still pretty strong. <sighs> but not strong enough. Say goodbye to your wallet. We got it. Please, beat me up if that's what your boss wants. But don't take my money. He has money. Well, looky here. He did have the cash. This fucking lowlife had no intention of paying it back. Hey, wait, what are you doing? Aniki! What? <laughs> He's getting all the junk out of his wallet first, man. 
Looks more like money to me. All right, great son. Like I said, I only wanted your wallet. Huh? Uh, what? Oh. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Me too. Hey, Hariki. What's up with you? Why did you take the money? Your Atsuka won't screw us. He'll pay it off if we just give him time. How you figure that? You think he's out here working his ass off, doing construction on New Year's Eve just for fun? Didn't you notice what he was smoking? It was just a nub, man. He obviously just picked it up off the ground. Why'd he do that if he had so much cash? Because it's New Year's. He probably wanted to buy his mom a nice meal, so he got some cash out of the bank, you know? That doesn't mean it's okay to be late on his payments. Look, you know that old candy shop just past Showa Street? Uh, yeah, it closed last year, right? What about it? Hiratsuka's mom ran that shop. Really? She closed it because she got sick. Real sick. I went to see her in the hospital, and she was thin as a rail. But even so, she was happy, because her son was back in Kamarocho, taking care of her. So, that money Hiratsuka borrowed was... It was all for her hospital bills. <gasps> oh. But, dude, if we go back empty-handed, Captain Sawashiro's gonna kill us! We're not going back empty-handed. We were asked to snatch the dude's wallet. And look, that's exactly what we snatched. You know that's not what the captain meant. Hey, speak of the devil. For real? Hello, this is Ichiban. You're slow. I told you to pick up within two rings. Sorry, Captain. Don't tell me you're still out there doing collections. Just finished up the last one, sir. I'm about to head back to the office. That'd be great. Except right now you should be with the young master. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I'll be there as fast as I can. What good is that? He still has to wait for you. Why are you always slow as shit? I'm sorry, sir! Just move your ass, and don't take him anywhere dumb or dangerous. If anything happens to him under your watch, I'd have to kill you a thousand times. Yes, I know that, sir! So you gotta go play chaperone to the young master? Yeah, damn it. I can't believe I forgot. Me too. Take this back to the office for me. Oh, no! I'm not gonna be the one to hand this in to the captain. You just let me know when the young master lets you off your leash. Uh, I'll kill time until then. <laughs> All right! Let's go to Masato's apartment. It's so cool to play first person this game. All right, apartment. Oh, we have to take a taxi. Let's do it. Get in. All right, where is that? I mean, have you seen Masato Arakawa? I'm very sorry, but I haven't seen him today, sir. Oh, damn it. <laughs> sorry I'm late, young master. Something came up while I was doing collections. Anything else you want to announce? Did you forget what day it is? 
Uh, of course not. It's Yumino-san's birthday, right? You didn't come without a gift, did you? No, I brought something. It's just... I didn't have much, so it's not the greatest. <laughs> Whatever. As long as you didn't tell Dad about this. You didn't. Did you? Of course not. If he asks where we went, just tell him we went shopping. Yes, sir. The old fool. He still treats me like a child. He's just worried about you. You mean a lot to him. Don't talk like you know me. <laughs> Sorry. What is Whoa. that? What the? What is that? What is that? The latest and greatest ephedrine injector. I had it imported. Uh, ephedrine? It's a specialized performance enhancer. It stimulates the sympathetic nervous system, so even someone with my condition will be able to stand and walk just like anybody else. The effect will be immediate, but it won't last more than a few hours. But how? How did you get something like that? Today is my woman's birthday. I can't embarrass her by going in there like this. That sounds crazy, though. Don't you think it's kind of risky? No. It just hasn't been approved for use in Japan. That's all. Injected here. Huh? Oh. None of this sounds good to me, young master. We don't really know what else it might do to you. You're a fucking wuss. Oh no. Well, I hope he will be okay. <laughs> Young Master? Young Master? Young Master! <gasps> Does it work? Wow. Let's go. Young master? And he's just walking off just like that. <laughs> It looks very expensive in here. Good evening, Masato-san. Oh my goodness, are you all better? I can't believe it. Hey, where's Yumino-san? Um, 
We'll call her as soon as we can. Soon as you can? You better mean now. Well, you see, she just sat down with another customer. She's been very busy today because it's her birthday. Hey! I just need a minute with him to explain our situation. Don't worry, I'll be nice. Hey. Hi. Oh. <laughs> She's gone. Hmm? No. Yo. <clears throat> okay, we gotta go look for her ourselves. But I don't know who I'm looking for. <laughs> Let's talk to these. Okay, not here. Hmm. Oh, there's so many here. Oh, here is this her? Sorry, it's so busy today. Nothing to be sorry about. If you didn't have customers on your birthday, I'd have to assume everyone else here was blind. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Mm, well, uh, how should I put this? I'm the young lady's escort for tonight. <laughs> e John, what are you doing? I believe this club is first come, first served. No need to make things complicated. Let's just say we came first and leave it at that. You understand. <laughs> what the hell is this? I'd ask you the same. You're the one being unreasonable. What? I, I have reasons, so shut up! This is ludicrous. Ludo what? Use some normal ass words! You said you'd be civil. You're causing a scene, you moron. Sorry. Please excuse my companion here. He's usually better behaved. I find that hard to believe. This place doesn't really do the first come, first serve thing. You see, in this industry, they can't treat every customer equally. The guys who spend big get better service. It's supply and demand, that's all. <laughs> that's so. Besides, that's my girl. I see. I knew you'd understand. Since I've disturbed you, would you let me buy you a drink? Pick anything you'd like, and don't worry about the price. No, thank you. I don't need a drink. <laughs> Not the drinking type. Well, then you'll be needing this to try your luck with another woman.
I couldn't accept that. Please, I insist. Why insult me by refusing? How about... No, thank you. My position requires me to exercise some level of discretion when accepting gifts. Where do you get off acting so high and mighty? You've got guts. I'll give you that. What's your name? <laughs> I suppose you won't stop bothering me until I show you. Police department. Unfortunately, I also have to be discreet about who receives my business card. <laughs> wow. Are you even allowed out this late? At a place like this? <laughs> no law against it. Now, why don't you take the lovely lady back to your seat already? Cheers! Cheers! Yumino-san! Such fancy drinks, Yumino-san! You spoil us! Thank you! Hey, aren't you thanking the wrong person? He's right. You two should thank the man who bought them. We're very grateful, Masato-san. <laughs> Whatever, it's fine. I mean, it is the most expensive bottle in the house. Only natural they'd forget themselves a bit. How often do they get drinks like that after all? Young master, I'm sorry about all that earlier. That guy thinks he's too good to accept my generosity? Not like he can afford to as a cop. Does he come here often? No, this was his first time. So, Yumino-san, what did he get you for your birthday? Oh, stop. Just the fact that he's here is enough for me. Really. Aw, you two are so cute! Jealous. I want a boyfriend like Masato-san. Eiji, show her yours first. Uh, sure. I, I'm not really used to this kind of thing, though, so... Just do it! <laughs> Sorry, I know it's not much. I had a lot of trouble figuring out what to get you. And you're the young master's woman. I, I mean, his girlfriend. So that's even harder. But this was the most expensive one they had. I promise. <laughs> what? The name Ichiban means the best, but I guess there's no accounting for taste. <laughs> we should start calling him Ichiban. Am I right? <laughs> Masato-san, you're so clever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, what are you gonna do? Here. That's my girl. I knew you'd appreciate its worth. How... how much was it? About the price of a condo. A high-end one. Not just some dump, of course. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know how I could ever repay you. <laughs> don't worry about it. I guess my next gift will have to be an actual condominium. For us. Yubino-san, can I have you at the front for a moment? Really? Can't you read a room, kid? 
Ichi, don't start another fight. It's the lady's birthday. Let her go. She's just in high demand. Right. Excuse me. I'll be right back. It's okay. Take your time. He's so nice! Well, back to drinking. You have a captive audience for all your bullshit stories. But I don't want to just talk. Let's do something more intimate. Well, we'd have to ask you, Mino. Oh, she'd kill us for sure. But I'd still enjoy being your girl while I could. I had one too many. Some wingman I am. horinouchi san wait! Please, wait! I'm going home. I don't even want to breathe the same air as that punk. Who the hell is he? Masato-san? He's... well, he's the son of a Yakuza. How do you stand the man? Well, of course to you he's not a man. He's a big walking wallet. Stop! This is serious. It's starting to freak me out how much he spends and drinks. Just now he gave me something super expensive and said next time it'll be a condo. So? You can turn around and sell his trinkets the next day. And if he found out, what do you think he'd do to me? <laughs> Are you talking about violence? <laughs> At the first hint of that, I'll throw the bastard behind bars. Yes, I know you would. And you're right. I should sell it tomorrow. <laughs> I didn't think there were still idiots walking around believing money can buy them love. <laughs> All that matters is you're not one of them. Now get back out there and squeeze him dry. <laughs> okay. See you later. Oh no! Are we gonna tell him or not? I feel like he should know the truth. What? Young master? How long have you been there? Did he hear it too? Um... Young master? So... Did you finish your business? I'm heading back. Use this to pay the bill. If there's anything left, might as well use it to wipe your ass. Yep. Let's meet up at Theater Square and walk to the office. Sounds good. Okay. So it looks like it's really late now. Let's check where we have to go. Up here. I wonder these uh, collabs and things. Maybe I can already play some mini games. I would like to try if I can. So there was one to the right. Ah! Sorry, people! <laughs> Oopsie. There was something here to the right. Oh! Hi there! Let's 
fight. <laughs> Come on now. Check this out. <laughs> well, that was easy. But it's nice we got some money. Uh yeah. All this away here. And down. Let's see if we can play something here. <laughs> Club Sega. Can we go in? Yeah! Oh, wow! <laughs> Hello. I wanna play some games. What should we play? There's too many. Hmm. Let's go for... This one. Here. Fantasy Zone. Yeah. 100 yen. Let's try it out. <laughs> On circle, shoot. And bomb next. Okay, I have no idea if I can do this, but I'll try it out. <laughs> One player start only. No, I don't want to exit. Okay, I start now. Yes. Long ago, far away in space, there existed a fantasy zone. And then I couldn't read more. <laughs> Can I kill this? <laughs> oh, that didn't go well. <laughs> I wanna sing karaoke though. That's the most fun thing about these games. <laughs> I wonder where that is. I'm not good at these types of games. <laughs> ah! No. <laughs> but I like the music, it's cute. <laughs> oh yeah, we can drop down bombs. Ah! Okay. Uh <laughs> Game over, that did not go well. Yeah, I'm really bad at these games. <laughs> oh, six. <laughs> Let's just... Oh, quit here. Yes? All right. Oh, someone is there. Creepy, she's just standing there. Oh, there's someone too! Why are they just standing there? <laughs> Alright, what else can we do here? We can eat, of course. I really wanna sing karaoke. Where can we do that? Maybe it opens up later. Yeah, let's just move on with the story here. New York hot dog. Oh, I want hot dog. Oh, we can't go in here. <laughs> wow, but I want one. <gasps> Someone wanna fight? Let's fight. Newbie, Yakisa. <laughs> All right. We got a salmon onigiri. That's a nice some food. Sorry. Oh well, she's angry. She's angry. <laughs> Here he is. Top. Yep. Let's get back to the office. Okay, let's go back to the office. What happened with that porn peddler? Sir, 
Haneke took care of him today. He won't ever pull that shit again without going through us first. Okay. And how much did you get from him? A wallet. Uh, <laughs> about that. Uh, I gave the money back to the high schoolers who bought the videos. It was the fair thing to do, and the kids were grateful to our family. Oh, it's that I one. See. Okay. And that debt we bought? Oh, yeah. Went off without a hitch. Here's the guy's wallet. Just as you requested, sir. What's he gonna say? <sighs> oh! All the money's there. Including interest. Uh -huh. Is it from the wheelchair guy? There was some money left from that, maybe. <laughs> wow. Excellent work. Is that what you thought I would say? <laughs> this bill strap is from the young master's bank. Ichi, what's the real story? <clears throat> there, there is no real story. The young master gave that to me. I swear. He gave it to you. Or did you beg him for it to make quota? Begging for scraps won't fix your incompetence. I didn't beg! I have too much pride to pull something like that! You have pride? When you can't earn for the family?! What's that look? Pretending it didn't hurt? You don't even know pain. Not for a Yakuza anyway. A Yakuza takes real responsibility. Hey! Bring me the knife. The knife? Do it. No. <laughs> No. What's wrong? You don't know how real Yakuza atone? Fine. I'll show you. No. <laughs> if you're lucky, it'll slip right between the joints for a clean cut. If you're lucky. Is he gonna do it? <gasps> Good to see you, boss. Welcome back, boss. Welcome back, sir. He's a boss. The guy from Ichi. the beginning. Walk with me. Uh, uh, yes, wow, sir. we were lucky there. <sighs> boss. You saved my ass back there. Can't you at least try to get along with Joe? I don't know. He hates my guts. Just because, well, I'm not much of an earner. Try putting yourself in his shoes. He's doing his duty as a family treasurer. Sure, I know that. But it's like we just have different visions of what a Yakuza should be, you know? To me, it's more about duty and standing up for people. Not money. And it's okay to see things differently. That's the strength of the Arakawa party. S sorry, party? <laughs> it's not so different than those games you like, is it? Everyone has a certain skill they bring to the table. Some people are like you, charging in headfirst without a thought. Others cover your ass like Mitsu. And some are better at cracking the whip. That's Joe. All of these people keep the organization running. Yeah, and you're the king of them all. The king? <laughs> to me, all of you are more like sons than subjects. <laughs> Speaking of, you looked after Masato today, right? Yes, sir. Sorry to keep asking you to help me with something so personal. How was he? F fine. That's good to hear. 
These days, he doesn't even answer my calls. I may be king of the Arakawa family, but to my other family, it's nothing but a title. <laughs> well, Ichiban, why don't we go get our last meal of the 20th century? Yeah, sure. Did you see that? I guess nobody cares about PDA on New Year's. That reminds me. You find yourself a girl yet? No, sir. I'm like a reverse chick magnet. <laughs> Don't be so quick to throw in the towel. Easy for you to say. You probably had girls all over you at my age. What? I won't abide such slander. No, oh, I... You use the past tense. Going silver has only made me a bigger hit with the ladies. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> of course, of all the women over the years, there was only one. Just one I might have started a family with. Yeah? Yes. Masato's mother. Oh. I've never told you the details, have I? No, sir. I, uh, I do know that she passed away. Yes. Let me start on New Year's Eve 24 years ago. I was just a grunt in the Hikawa family, but the patriarch asked me if I'd marry his daughter. She was the young master's mother? Just listen. I love someone else. Her name was Akane. Uh-oh. What did... I was naive. <laughs> I thought if I ignored my boss's daughter, she'd get annoyed and dump me. The whole time, I was dating Akane in secret on the side. I remember the moment she told me she was pregnant. Oh, man. I knew right then what I needed to do. I had to step up as a man. Problem was, I couldn't find the right moment to tell the boss about Akane and our child. By the time I worked up the courage to tell him, Akane was almost due. So I got down on my hands and knees and told the boss I already had a girl. He didn't let you off easy, I take it. Oh, he had his guys beat the shit out of me. I entered the new year barely able to move. If only it could have been over and done with then. Huh? The boss gave an order to the family. An order to kill Akane. What? Kill her? Yes. I couldn't believe it myself. But he was serious. Even though we were a small family, we were very good at making people disappear. And when we killed, the body was never found. That's what was waiting for Akane and me. For bringing shame to the Patriarch. Uh, to this day, I have no idea how I got out alive. When I learned what was happening, I fled. I don't think they expected that after how badly they beat me. At the same time, Akane was at the hospital having the baby. <gasps> I called her and told her to leave as soon as possible. I knew Yakuza were already on their way to the hospital. So I made a plan. I told her we could meet at this cafe so we could skip town. Cafe Alps? Yes. I waited and waited, but she never came. But just as I was about to lose all hope, I got a call. Akane? Hello? Where are you? I thought they caught you. Our, our baby is here. Huh? Our son. What? Nay, I got away, but they're not far behind. I, I have to keep moving. Where are you? I'll come get you. Shinjuku Station. By the lockers. Okay, stay there. Try to blend into the crowd. Honestly, 
they're here. What do I do? Akane, they're looking for a woman with a baby. Hide him in a locker and walk out. Keep a low profile. My poor baby in a locker? What are you saying? Uh, don't worry. I'll come get him as soon as I can. Once you're in a safe place, call the manager at Cafe Alps. Tell him where you are. Now hurry. Put the baby in a locker. <sighs> okay. Take good care of him. Akane. Hey, there she is. That's her. Go, go, go. Hey! Akane! Where's the woman? Damn it! Where'd she go? Hurry up and find her! Shit! It's locked. Where's the key? Hold on. I'll get Ouch. you out. What's going on? It's so crazy. Damn it! Open you piece of shit! Open! Should we call the police? Is it the right one at least? This, this is my child. I rescued our child and ran to a hospital. The doctor examined Masato and said he had multiple organ failure due to low body temperature. So that's why the young master is in a chair. Yes. It was that cold inside the locker. And apparently, if I had found him five minutes earlier, it could have prevented the complications. Boss, it wasn't your fault. I mean, you got there as soon as you could. I just want to apologize to you. You're burdened with Masato's care because of me. I don't think of it that way, sir. I never saw Akane again after that. She ran to a bar she knew, but the Hikawa family was already there. As I was taking Masato to the hospital, they were taking her away. They killed her. Oh. A few days later, the Patriarch and several of his men disappeared. The Hikawa family had ceased to exist. Wait, did you? Oh, never mind. Forget it. <laughs> Sorry for rambling on and on. But there is something I've always wanted to tell you. Even if only by oath, I consider you a son as well. Oh, jeez, sir. That's... Well, 
Enough gloomy talk. Let's eat, hmm? I'm starving. Me too. Well, seeing as I'm the king and all, how about we feast on the king of Chinese food? What could that be? Oh, gyoza! <laughs> no, not gyoza. Peking duck. Duck? Is that even edible? Mm hmm. The duck is dried in the sun, then roasted. And the skin comes out so crispy and delicious, you'll love it. You peel off the perfectly brown skin, wrap it in seasoned dough. Then your mouth is filled with the sweet and spicy fragrance of the sauce. Damn, that does sound good. Yes, which is why in ancient China, only the imperial court ate it. Oh, so it really is the king of Chinese food. Yep, but I wonder if we can find it in Kambochu. There's got to be a place serving it somewhere. All right, Chinese food. But that is what happened in the beginning of the game when he was young. And he still wants to go and eat it. Ah! Wouldn't it just remind him of that back then? Let's check. It's up here. And I don't know if we still can sing karaoke, but maybe later then. But this is where I will end this episode and I will continue in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye!